Welcome, Pennsylvania. Thank you for being here today. I got a simple question for you, and it's multiple choice. The answers are Harris or Trump. <laughs> Who are we going to send to the White House? Who are we going to send to the White House? Okay, one more time, this time so loud that we drowned out all that joy at the Harris headquarters. Who's going to the White House on Tuesday? That's right, that's right. Well, I've got a, a simple message for all of you, and I want to extend that on behalf of President Trump and all the great patriots that uh, all of you are and all the people that have been traveling around the country. Uh, is what's going on here today is happening in states and counties all over the nation. And when you have a gathering like this where people gather with a pledge and a prayer, this is the best of America. This is people coming together because you're here, because you care about your, your neighbors, and you, and you believe in a, in a country where neighbors still help neighbors and where, where you know that you're here not just for yourself, but you're here because of your kids and your grandkids. And the message I want to say to you is one of gratitude, because this election has been fought now. It's been going on really for four years. And here we are back at the brink, two, way, two days away from sending Donald Trump back to the White House. <laughs> and we're here because, because of the work that all of you do. And with 48 hours to go, the gratitude is for everything you've done. You've put up yard signs. You've talked to your friends, your neighbors. You've posted online. You've taken pictures. You know, we talk about the media, but you're all the media. You've got an opportunity to share with your group and get people to, to get out and vote. And that's what it's going to come down to. This could still be a very close race on Tuesday. And this race is going to be decided not in the 50 states. It's going to be decided in seven states, and in those seven states, it's going to be decided in 19 counties. There's 3,000 counties in America. 19 counties will decide this race. This is one of them, and you're here, and you're going to make a difference. This morning, this morning we had a chance on the bus tour. We were in Carbon County, and... After the event was over, I was talking to a woman just like you, had come to this event there because she cared about her community, cared about everything. She was driving home a couple weeks ago, and she had a Trump T-shirt on, and there was a car accident, and she'd seen a bunch of people keep rolling by and rolling by and not stopping. And she said, I better stop and see if that person's okay, because she's just like you, someone that cared. She pulled in and, and said, are you okay? And the person was okay. They were visiting from Florida. Found out, she said, Did, what do you say? I'm a Trump volunteer. I'm, I'm doing what she was wearing a, wearing a Trump, Trump T-shirt. That individual was from Florida. She told me that she, after they got back home safely, the person was okay. She helped them get the care they needed, helped them get connected, went back to Florida. That individual has converted about 10 votes in Florida to vote for President Trump. That's the kind of impact that all of you are having. And I just want to tell you quickly why I'm here. Uh, I was in the private sector my whole life until the day that first time I ever ran for office was the same. And I got elected for the first time the same night that President Trump got elected. Both of us that same night. And I remember, I remember going into that night thinking it was going to be pretty fun to be the governor of a state that I grew up in. And I grew, came from a small town in North Dakota, 300 people. And I thought, this is going to be fun because I love this place and I love this country. And then as that night went on and the, the numbers came in, and you guys probably all remember that, November of 2016, and then Hillary was going down and Trump was going up, and he ended up winning. And wasn't that an incredible night, that feeling that night? That was amazing. <clears throat> and as it turned out, it was so much fun for First Lady Catherine and I to serve with President Trump as the president. We had the wind at our back. We had someone who was cutting taxes. He was cutting regulation. He understood that the states created the federal government and not the other way around, and that states were respected to do what they needed to do to get the job done. And so we had this great thing rolling along. And then when Biden and Harris got in office, we got reelected. I had the same job, but my job changed completely. 
It changed completely. What I have had to do the last four years is fight our own federal government as they try to take away the rights of states, the rights of people, including our right to run our economy like Pennsylvania. We're an energy state, you're an energy state, and they're choking states like ours. And when they do that, they raise the price of everything, they drive inflation up, they shut down American energy, and you know who benefits the most? You know who celebrates when Joe Biden and, and Kamala Harris say, we're going to stop exporting U.S. natural gas? They have a party in the Kremlin. They have a party. The, the Ayatollahs in Iran have a party because it helps them. And what are they doing with all of the oil money they're making? They're funding wars against us and our allies. This, this country, two-thirds of America believe we're on the wrong track. And I tell you, we're not just off by a couple of degrees. We are 180 degrees in the wrong direction on energy. We're 180 degrees in the wrong direction on our economy. We're 180 degrees on national security. And as a governor in, under Biden and Harris, she's the borders are. I've been down to the border more times than she has. I've had, we've had troops. One of the great honors and the great responsibilities of being a governor is the commander and the chief of your National Guard. I've had troops at that border almost continuously during this administration. It's worse than anything you've ever heard of, anything that's ever reported. Most underreported story every day in America is what's going on at the border. And I can tell you they're 180 degrees wrong on the border, but there's one person we know that this mess we're inheriting that can fix it, and you know who that person is? Donald J. Trump can fix it. Yes, they've, they've left an incredible mess of a broken economy, an open border, wars abroad, unsafe cities. Because along with that, along with the invasion we've had, we've also had mass casualties. We've lost the equivalent of five Vietnams worth of Americans to overdose deaths during the Biden-Harris administration. And I can tell you, I'm so happy that we've got a, that our team, because uh, I, I love putting our team, Trump Vance, against their team. Let me tell you about their team. I've talked about Kamala, but Tim Waltz, uh, Governor Waltz, he's my neighbor in Minnesota. Tim Waltz is my neighbor. Yeah. And I, I know you want I know you want to boo Tim, but I just have to tell you, from the perspective of North Dakota, uh, he's going to win the Economic Developer of the Year because billions of dollars of businesses have left Minnesota and moved to North Dakota. Uh, and uh, we just want to give him a shout out and tell him thank you, thank you, Tim, for that, uh, because uh, we've got the most liberal president candidate we've ever had in Kamala Harris, who's from California. And then we got a governor in the middle of the country that's passed every California liberal. Imagine, you know, they call it the land of 10,000 lakes. Well, you know what they call it now, the land of 10,000 taxes and regulations, because uh, that's, that's what they've got going on. So our team, what a team we've got. President Trump at the top, J.D. Vance. How about J.D. Vance? You're going to hear from him shortly. Yep. Someone who served his country served his country and also someone who understands that the disease of addiction is ravaging our country and he's going to do something about that. So what a team that we've got. Uh, they're going to get it done uh, for us. Absolutely. So excited that we're going to have JD here. So excited that you're all here. And let me close with this. One of our great presidents was, was Theodore Roosevelt. And Theodore Roosevelt said, the great prize in life is the opportunity to work hard at work worth doing. And I want to start, close where I started with gratitude for all of you, because everybody here who's out working to get the vote out, everybody who's here putting up yard signs, making a post, calling your friends, volunteering, being a captain, I see those white caps out there. Uh, all of you are doing work that's work worth doing. And I want to say again, thank you. You're going to be the difference maker. When we send Trump back to the White House, it's coming through this county. It's coming through Pennsylvania. Let's go, Pennsylvania. Let's win it all on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you.